So pretty exciting morning. Been up since 5 a.m. and I've got to uh, RHS Hampton Court Palace Festival um, down here for the day doing uh, loads of content. I'm gonna try and get uh, doing a vlog but then we're gonna do lots of videos and uh, Instagram stuff of um, all the stalls, all the stuff going on. Um, there's loads of demonstrations and talks and all the gardens. Really looking forward to going to see the um, lots of allotment content here. It's actually lots of really good um, allotment gardens at the festival. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and see what we can see today. Um, already by the entrance, there's some pretty amazing flowers. Um, I think you could spend quite a lot of money here. <laughs> um, so I probably should have left my wallet at home. But uh, yeah, pretty amazing so far. So I'm gonna have a good wander around, it's nice and quiet. It's only uh, just gone half eight, so uh, it's uh, really quiet. Everyone's the stalls are still setting up and things. So uh, yeah, let's go and see what we can see. Super quiet here at the moment. There's still uh, lots of people setting up, lots of exhibitors coming in with uh, trolleys and stuff. But uh, yeah, absolutely amazing to be here when it's really quiet and loads and loads of amazing flowers. <laughs> Just walked for a few stalls, probably about 20 stalls or so, um, and straight into the big floral marquee um, where you can buy all the plants and things. Um, planting out the front's pretty amazing to begin with. So, yeah, it's, uh, can have a quick walk through there, I think, see what's on offer. So I got really lucky there and uh, bumped into them doing the awards. Um, so I wandered around behind them all, giving them out. Um, that was incredibly quick and quite hard to keep up with. But uh, yeah, lots of very happy people, quite a lot of tears. And uh, yeah, lots of golds, silvers, some really nice gardens. And yeah, so I'm just gonna have a look at This is a really nice stand from the Wildlife Trust. It's an amazing, massive hedgehog. Actually, it's very spiky. I'm not sure that's metal, actually. That is very spiky. But really cool, love that. And it's a huge, huge bee hotel. That's really cool. That sort of thing we could do with it at the allotment, I think. Really lovely stand. It's got some nice, nice vegetables in here as well, and some old tyres. Not probably so good, but the uh, the veg look nice. Nice carrots and strawberries. And a little uh, bee as well.
I've just walked away from some of the, the show gardens over towards more of the, um, I'm trying to find the allotment area um, after that Lion King performance. That was an absolutely incredible. Um, and I've got more going on later in the day as well um, with some of the puppets and things. So uh, if I can, I might get back to that, but depends how much else I find. But yeah, this, this sign's really cool. Everyone's stopping for a, a selfie. Um, and there's some really lovely little gardens over here as well. I've been having a wander around. Nice to sort of have a bit of a, a chill for a minute after listening to those performances. I made my way over to the uh, Rose Festival, Festival of Roses marquee, um, and I think it's sponsored by David Austin, which um, have their amazing flowers, roses, um, including their new Emma Bridgewater rose, which is smells amazing especially when there's hundreds or thousands of the things um, there's so many out the front um, yeah but there's this beautiful archway that's a big archway to walk through and loads of roses to look at and to to buy um, but yeah some really beautiful roses everywhere to have a good look around is the David Austin stall or show. It's got a nice uh, nice display for both sides. Huge displays. And they've got a nice uh, nice setup for afternoon tea. Over in the allotment area, see uh, lots of vegetables. There's some nice seed stalls here. I'm just gonna have a look at, but some uh, nice courgettes caught my eye sneaking down there. Mm. Even some red tomatoes there as well. Now that's some elephant garlic. That is huge. I don't think there's been any on today, but this is the uh, one of the how-to tents. Some nice flowers in front of the stage and things, but yeah, some nice bench seating learn some more things that's what's on on Tuesday so we've got some uh, planting borders and herbs and, uh, wildflowers and even mushrooms <laughs> Planters made to look like minis, old school minis, mini moments celebration. These are quite nice, quite um, quite good flowers in them with a big corgi box car in the middle. Quite a nice, um, more allotmenty plot. It's a uh, Got our children love strawberries area with some some nice strawberries in there. Wonder if anyone will uh, try and eat those. But yeah, got lots, lots of nice veg in this one. And, uh, and loads of 
tomatoes and looks like some courgettes in there and some herbs as well nice herb stand made out of a pallet and uh, an interesting dripping watering can with a pipe coming through it it's quite a cool idea a little cold frame This one's the um, Found Garden, like Cold Fate London. It's nice that a lot of these are, are charities. And there are uh, some gardens to promote their work. Quite like the separator there, yeah, the big wooden, uh, wooden bit in the middle. It's a lot busier now in the afternoon. It's about um, half two, 20 past two. Um, there's a lot more people here now. So uh, yeah, it's getting a bit more difficult to look around so much, but uh, yeah, still lots going on. I've walked around the stalls, loads and loads of little, little tiny stalls and bigger stalls. Some are still just building up today, but yeah, loads, everything selling anything from your plants through to tools and then garden, luxury garden stuff, like uh, hammocks and things and uh, all sorts. Made it back to the floral marquee. Got here, when I got here this morning, they were doing that judging, so I ended up following them around, watching the judging. Um, but yeah, finally made it back here, back over the um, water. So uh, I'm gonna have a good look around inside. Well, there's quite a lot more in here than I was expecting. It's uh, huge. So in the week there'll be um, talks here, I think, I'm saying about gardening advice, so you can come down and ask them questions. Um, looks to be judging going on for the uh, for this marquee at the moment. So there's lots of judges walking around with clipboards. Um, but the uh, I can walk around this side, so uh, yeah, go and see what stalls are along here. I do absolutely love this um, drawer set of drawers. It's on a uh, herb stand, a fern stand, and lots of native seeds. But that's absolutely lovely, isn't it? Love this stall, quite near the back of the tent. It's got um, loads of picture frames with vegetables all around them and a nice uh, chance for a photo on the bench there. But it's just surrounded by uh, all sorts of squash and aubergines, all sorts of things. And they're selling um, vegetable seeds. She looks really nice. Right at the back of the uh, flower marquee, there's uh, the potting shed with some talks on. So on Tuesday, we've got some things about hostas and growing food and carnivorous plants and house plants. Um, they do have quite a nice display on the front of the. Uh, the stage, nice old potting shed bits.
cool carnivorous plant stand, complete with dinosaur. It's pretty awesome. It's from um, ants fly trap. It's not often you get to see these kind of plants actually. So that's it for today. Been here since I was here about half eight, I think, and it's about um, nearly three o'clock. So uh, yeah, done, done a lot today, and uh, I think I've got around pretty much everything. I think I might have missed a couple of the um, selling parts, but that's not really uh, not really things I was interested in. So that's that's okay. But yeah, absolutely amazing show. Really happy I came. Really pleased. The uh, show gardens were brilliant really enjoyed looking around the allotment parts and the uh, the big show gardens and the Lion King bit was absolutely amazing that was uh, brilliant um, yeah so looking forward to uh, going to some more shows I've got another one uh, I think Tatton Park later in July so uh, yeah look forward to going to that so I hope you enjoyed watching a look around the festival and uh, forward to talking to you soon <laughs>